when a child is born. It is only natural for parents to look down at their baby and wish happiness and success for their child's life. In fact, success and happiness are the two things that parents desire most for their children. Unfortunately, the world has promoted a distorted view of success, leading us to think that it's found in our earthly achievements. Consequently, we find ourselves hoping that others will recognize us as being important. We think that if we are well-liked or popular, we will have more worth. We long to be seen as valuable, hoping that our talents will be recognized. Many find themselves reaching for these things their entire lives. Instead of a healthy desire to improve, success has been distorted into a dangerous idol that is often placed before God. When this worldly success becomes our idol, we are more likely to give into peer pressure and abandon God for the sake of our reputation. We may find that we are constantly choosing a job or recreation in exchange for church. Excuses are often made that we are too busy or there isn't enough time for God. We get caught in this vicious cycle, and while we think we are climbing the ladder of success, we are really just spinning our wheels like a hamster trying to get ahead on a running wheel. These worldly aims have captured our hearts and blinded us from understanding the true meaning and purpose of our existence. And instead of finding fulfillment in God, we have looked inward to try to find it within ourselves and our accomplishments. We feel the need to prove ourselves, and if we are not careful, we can easily spend our entire lives chasing down empty ambitions in order to prove our worth. But when one surrenders his life to Jesus, it is amazing at the transformation that can take place. Understanding the realities of eternity, we become aware of what really matters in life. As the Bible says in Matthew 16:26. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world and yet forfeit their soul? When we become Christians, we realize that our attention needs to be fixated on becoming like Christ and seeking first His kingdom. When Christ walked this earth, He was not concerned with His status or fame or earthly accomplishments. He did not devote His life to storing up treasures, and nor did He feel the need to prove Himself to others in order to feel important. Instead, he humbled himself by taking the very nature of a servant and was made in human likeness. He left his glorious heavenly throne and came to this earth in order to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Understanding that God Almighty was able to humble himself for our sake, we cannot continue to be arrogant by keeping such an inward focus, but relying on God's grace and forgiveness we can overcome our selfish desires and seek fulfillment in Christ alone. No longer should we aim for praise and admiration from the world, but instead our only goal should be to please God and to imitate the humble actions of our Savior. We realize that instead of trying to prove ourselves, we need to focus on improving ourselves by following God's direction. But improvement does not always come easy. It's a challenge that we will continue to face as we look to God for strength and direction. In many ways, this path of righteousness is like an upward battle that requires a constant reliance on God. As Jesus said in Luke chapter 9, verses 23 and 24, If anyone wants to be my disciple, they must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. Jesus' teachings are very different from the messages we receive from the world. Instead of messages of self-denial, we are constantly bombarded with the idea that life is about us, our pleasures, our happiness, and our accomplishments. But as we mature in our faith, we realize that life is not about seeking our own interest. We've been called to a higher purpose. As Philippians 2.3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, Rather, in humility, consider others above yourselves. This passage reveals that putting others first is fundamental in having a mindset of Christ. Consequently, if we want to improve ourselves and be successful in God's eyes, we must focus on improving the way we serve others. By lifting up those who are in need, we are a beacon of light to all of those who do not know Christ's love. If we want to make our time on this earth worthwhile, we need to aim at making a difference in the lives around us. And the best way to improve our world begins 
by improving our serve.